Uh, hello, this is our paper on GPT generated text detection. I'm Zubair, and my co authors are William and Vagelis. So, before we get into it, the main question to ask is why is GPT text detection important? Well, GPT can be used for a lot of good things, and it can be used for a lot of bad things. So, some of the bad things that it can be used for is obviously misinformation and fake news. Some of the bad things that it can be used for is plagiarism. So, already we can see there's a need to be able to detect GPT-generated text content reliably. So in this paper, we propose two things. First thing is a data set. So this data set is a data set for evaluation of chat GPT-generated text detection models. Um, it, contains, it contains diverse data from Reddit, and we source most of this data, and all, all of this data actually, from Q&A subreddits. Um, where we take the question and we store the human generated responses, which are very diverse as there's multiple authors. And we pass that question to GPT and we store its response. Um, this data set is very robust and it features a very large range of linguistic diversity um, and a lot of, of different uh, response quality um, since it's Reddit. And in this paper, we also uh, introduce a new GPT text generate uh, GPT generated text detection model. Um, so just for some background, most models um, are either traditional supervised, uh, deep learning based, uh, based on transfer learning, um, usually with another deep model, or unsupervised. So in this paper, we propose a semi-supervised method based on tensor decomposition, and the details are covered in the paper. But we take our method and we also evaluated it against three other methods of varying complexity. So SVM represents a very simple method. Random Forest represents a mildly complex method. And, and BERT represents a very complex deep learning method. 